Hey guys, um, <clears throat> thanks for clicking on this video. Just want to take a minute to say that uh, this is a, a learning uh, experience here as far as making these videos. And so um, I'm getting a little bit better and smoother at uh, editing them. And uh, I think this, this one here so far is uh, the best one yet, which isn't saying a whole lot, but um, really um, um, think it's good content as far as tearing down this engine. So please enjoy it and comment, subscribe, and hit the like button. All Thanks, right, guys. as we continue the progress on this engine, um, we're gonna go ahead and try to take this cylinder head off today. And uh, as uh, at this point, uh, we're gonna leave the rest of the cooling system hoses on for now, um, because I wanna get the head off. Basically what we're gonna do is um, take the crank pulley off, the front cover, you're gonna let loose the idler or the tensioner for the timing belt. Take the timing belt off. Um, take the uh, cam sprocket off. And then we should be able to, well, we're gonna try to cheat, right? I think I can snake in a uh, T55 um, socket and get these head bolts out. I believe they are meant for the, um, the poly tool, the poly socket tool but like I said we're gonna cheat a little bit and uh, if it leads to disaster then um, we'll try to figure that out so we'll get started with the crank pulley and the crank pulley is uh, six I guess they're m10 triple sockets but um, they're cheap enough to replace. For now, we'll just zip them out and set them aside. Uh, I have the crank at uh, perfectly at a TDC, which should aid us in getting the head out, but uh, not a big concern because we can still move the engine once the pulley's out anyway. The hell? Look at that. Oh. We just broke our uh, our DeWalt little uh, hex uh, adapter. There's one more left in there. That's funny. All right, not a biggie. There we go. So I don't know if uh, that says a lot for the Milwaukee fuel or more about the DeWalt, but either way, we got a backup and we're back in uh, we're back in business here. Okay, so that is the last of uh, these bolts on the on a crank pulley. We set those aside for now. And the crank pulley should work itself out. Now, again, this is pretty fresh, so uh, not a big deal. It just came right off. If you happen to have a crusty old crank pulley, take a rubber mallet and spank it a couple times. Uh, spray some uh, WD-40 or liquid wrench or whatever on there. It should come right out. This will give us access to our T30 uh, fasteners right there, and we'll go ahead and knock those out real quick. So there's like six of them, five of them. One, two, three, four, five. I believe that's all of them, all right? Nope, there's one more. See, I knew there were six. Ooh, that one was loose. Hmm. Wonder what happened with that one. All right. Front cover comes right off. And this will show you the timing belt setup. Easiest thing to do really is to take the uh, uh, tensioner off. I think that's a 12. 13. We can just zip it right off or use a ratchet and that'll break tension on the timing belt. Again, I have everything set up perfectly at TDC just for ease of uh, um, messing with the engine. So once this comes loose, it'll allow you to take your timing belt off. Timing belt was brand new. 
So we'll set it aside and go there. Now, there is the issue of the of the uh, cylinder head sprocket. And so certain people or some people will struggle to get it off, but um, I believe we should be able to zip it off with a impact. If not, you could just put the uh, uh, pair of ice grips on one of the uh, uh, spots on the cam or if you have the cam uh, holding tool which i do have but at the moment i don't need i don't believe uh you can put that tool on there to lock the cam in place and uh, take it off with a uh, regular old ratchet but i believe the impact will zip it off so we'll give it a whirl with the impact and see how that works out and again i do believe it's a 16 millimeter so hopefully Kind of lose for a 16, but we'll give it a try. I don't believe it's a 15. Yeah, it did roll our cam a little bit, but I don't believe it's enough to really make a difference on anything. So sometimes these cam sprockets get a little bit tight, but again, the old trick with the rubber mallet will get it out. And the rubber mallet sh shouldn't hurt anything. It won't hurt anything. All right, a couple taps. There it is. Got to be able to catch it. Don't want to break them. Pretty expensive, but I got a few, so that's all right. One other thing to remember is there's a little um, key that goes on the nose of this cam. Got to get that out. Okay. Meaning we have to pull the tensioner and this idler, which I believe is a 13, and then we'll get the T30s out of there, and this front little cover will come out. Then we can take our head off. And there she goes. 13 on the idler. Bang. Bang. And that should be that. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead. And put these guys back in just for now. So we don't lose them. And now we're going to go and start on this precarious removal of the uh, cylinder head. We are trying to get these head bolts out. We have one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so I believe if you are loosening, you wanna loosen from the outside in. That sounds about right. So we'll start with this guy, 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 this guy. All right, I don't know if you guys can follow along on that, but that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're going for this bolt. I'm gonna use a quality extension, which is my one of my snap-on extensions and a socket that I trust. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this thing to spin. <sighs> and you know what? We'll go ahead and use a good quality snap-on ratchet here. Okay, and when it comes to this kind of make or break situation want to do it the right way all right so my t55 is not getting in there 
I'm wondering if it's actually a T50. Let's give that a whirl. I'm going to feel very dumb if it's a T50. Alright, it is a T50. Alright, so that's one. Then we'll go to the corner right over here. And that will be two. Oh, all right. So for whatever reason, I can't find my damn magnetic pickup tools, any of them. I have like a bunch of them. So I'm using like a, a oil drain plug magnet. Um, it just makes it easier if you remove the uh, uh, cylinder head bolts before you remove the cylinder head because um, you don't want them to catch any threads in the, in the block or whatever. Uh, just makes it a lot easier. So as you yank the cylinder head out, you're very confident that you're doing the right thing and you're not fighting against um, any threads on the head. All right, so again, those first two uh, head bolts are gonna be problematic. Uh, the rest of them we'll, we'll pull out. Again, these are fresh fresh bolts, but um, we can't reuse them because they're torque to you. So that's two. Oh, I see, all right. Well, it looks like one or two of these are going to get stuck under the uh, cams. All right, well, I, I don't think we need to get all the bolts out right now because this thing is ready to go. I just lifted it up and came right, right out. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to try our hand at uh, lifting this right up and out of the head. Oh, I'm sorry, up and off the block. Ready? That's one and two. That went up really easy. So there you go. There you have it. Oh. Whew. So don't let anybody tell you that you don't uh, that you have to take the cam cradle off to uh, take the head off. Uh, not necessary at all. These Audi head gaskets are really robust, and um, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to reuse them. But um, we'll, we'll look into that. I know people are going to call me a hack, but um, this thing's only been on there for, uh, I'm not, it hasn't been driven on it, so it's perfectly fine. And uh, Audi head gaskets are uh, very unlikely to fail, uh, well, not prone to failure. Anyway, um... This looks good, no no issues. Oh, it's a lot dirtier than I thought it would be. Mind you, I didn't get these pistons perfectly clear, so uh, when I perfectly clean when I put them in. So that that um, that that color that you see is what a, what they how they basically went in. I mean, I scrubbed them, but um, this isn't like you know they were clean, but I didn't get them super clean. So that's from before. Um, all right, so the next thing we're going to do, we'll flip this over and take the uh, oil pump and the uh, crank out. And that's what kind of everyone's been waiting for. Cool. Thank you, guys.